Chairman, Council Members, my name is Stacy Champion. Uh, I am, I, I find this to be um, outrageous for a number of issues and like Councilwoman Williams, um, I too have been um, pushing for the city to adopt complete streets uh, and, and pay more attention, especially to our underserved uh, communities here for many, many years, um, over 10 years at this point. We have highways, speaking of highways, running through our urban core. Um, the reason that we have such a high number of pedestrian fatalities in Phoenix is because of this. We have people going way, way, way too fast and many, many lanes of traffic. Um, you know, I live kind of in the Melrose neighborhood and I can tell you that um, there are some crosswalks there where not only are people flying up 7th Avenue going 55 miles an hour, but I can stand at a marked crosswalk and nobody slows down. Um, people do not yield to pedestrians here. And the manner in which the city continues to shame pedestrians is outrageous. This is, this is an issue of people going way too fast. Um, we have no pedestrian buffers. Uh, we don't have enough signage. We don't have enough hawk lights. I see um, upper class neighborhoods with a lot of white people getting hawk lights by uh, popular restaurants before I see uh, neighborhoods where there have been five or more deaths uh, getting those hawk lights. And that's wrong. Um, with regards to people not getting a warning and having there be an immediate $200, $250 ticket, um, I don't know if anyone in this room has been poor uh, or has grown up poor or been poor as an adult. I personally have, and I can tell you that $250 is a month's worth of groceries, $250 is medication, $250 is your power bill. Um, this is not right. Um, I can also tell you that the data shows that um, as the gentleman said before, this will disproportionately impact people of color and um, our, our homeless folks. And the data backs that up. I would ask for you to collect information uh, from the Phoenix PD on uh, the statistics of those people who have gotten these tickets uh, for crossing this block and see what that looks like because nationally when they have crunch data it shows that people of color are getting these tickets and that's not okay and we have a city that has already been proven to racially profile I think that this will compound that uh, and be used as yet another excuse in neighborhoods that are already heavily impacted um, to, to harass people for trying to go about their day. So I'm strongly opposed to this. Uh, slow people down, slow people down and take complete streets seriously. Two of uh, the biggest things that are killing people in the city are heat and pedestrian fatalities. Those are avoidable. This does not solve that problem. Thank, Thank you so much. Jessica?